Good morning to all my dear students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Children, today we will do the recapitulation of lesson 4 of English literature that is the new bedroom. And we will revise also the notes of this lesson which we have written last week. So let us start. Children, we read lesson 4 the new bedroom and we have read that mom, dad, Suzanne and Tanya they all moved into a new house where Suzanne and Tanya have a new bedroom and in their new bedroom there was a bunk bed with small ladders there were two pillows and quilts on the bed there were two chairs and a table in their room. There was a big window with curtains. There was a big picture and a clock on the wall. There were also two cupboards, one for Suzanne and one for Tanya. There was a dressing table with two drawers and one mirror. There were also two boxes for their toys and there was a big or large mat on the floor. And when dad asked Suzanne and Tanya, girls, do you like your new bedroom? They said, yes, dad, we liked a beautiful new bedroom. Then their mother smiled and said, It's your playtime girls. Now you all can take out your toys from those boxes and after playing, put them back in the boxes. Then Susan says, We will keep our room clean, mom. Then she turns to her sister and says, Come, Tanya, let us set up the zigzag puzzle on the mat and they started playing so children you all have learned how to keep your room neat and clean now children I want you to revise all the notes which we have written last week we will start with spellings H A P P Y happy S M A L L small W I N D O W S windows C L O C K clock W A L L wall S H O E S shoes R O O M room T A B L E table M A T mat C L O T H E S clothes Once again repeat happy small windows clock wall shoes room table mat and clothes. Learn all these spellings and write them once. Okay. Now next one is word meanings. First word is C-L-E-N and clean. The meaning of clean is free from D-I-R-T dirt. Free from dirt. Next one is mirror. M-I-R-R-O-R. Mirror. Mirror means a S U R F A C E surface which R E F L E C T S reflects a C L E E R clear image I M A G E image a surface which reflects the clear image. Next is make sentences. First word is house. The sentence is I have a big house. Next one is clothes, C-L-O-T-H-E-S, clothes. My mother keeps all the clothes in the cupboard, C-U-P-B-O-A-R-D, cupboard. My mother keeps all the clothes in the cupboard. Now, the question number one. What kind of beds do Suzanne and Tanya have in their bedroom? The answer is 
Suzanne and Tanya have a bunk bed with a small ladder in the their bedroom. Once again, Suzanne and Tanya have a a bunk bed with a small ladder in their bedroom. Next question number two. What do Suzanne and Tanya keep in the two cupboards? What do Suzanne and Tanya keep in the two cupboards? Answer is Suzanne and Tanya keep their clothes and shoes in the two cupboards. Next one is number three. Where do they put the toys? They put the toys back in the boxes. Next is where do these animals live? Dog. Dog lives in a kennel. K-E-N-N-E-L. Kennel. Next is lion. L-I-O-N. Lion. Lion is, lives in a D-E-N. Den. Next one is bee. Bee lives in a hive. H-I-V-E. Hive. Next is rabbit. R-A-B-B-I-T. Rabbit. Rabbit lives in a burrow. B-U-R-R-O-W. Burrow. I hope you all have understood how to learn and write all these notes. So children, learn all these question answers and for more practice, you can write once or twice all these answers in your rough notebook. That's all for today. We will meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.